You may not realize this, but the actions that you take on a daily basis are not only keeping your confidence levels down, but perpetuating this destructive loop that can diminish your confidence levels further, keeping you off the pathway to your future self-transformation. How do I know this? Well, let's just say that I've been around this loop enough times. Welcome, Warriors. This is your man Johnny F here with nextlevelwarrior.com, and this channel is all about providing you with the knowledge and tools to help you build your warrior within to become your next level self. And a big part of this is rebuilding your confidence levels. But in order to increase this, you really need to understand what confidence actually is. You see, there are a lot of misconceptions out there, along with, of course, people's own beliefs and their own lack of confidence, which is where this trouble lies and why you need to do something about this now. America's first billionaire put it best in his famous quote where he said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Confidence can be defined as the belief of what you can accomplish. It's a feeling of trust and belief in yourself, like a sense of certainty, certainty in the belief of what you're actually capable of doing. And this becomes very apparent when we reflect on it in our own lives. You're not going to try something if you don't think you can do it. Keyword being think. And this is exactly how I led parts of my life in the past, building stories in my head, making me afraid to fail or even worried about what other people might think of me, which just resulted in limiting my confidence growth. Research on confidence, or what they refer to as self-efficacy, actually shows that confidence is not what produces success or achievements, but actually the opposite. Our achievements are what generates more confidence, which builds our belief and trust in ourselves that we are capable of further succeeding in things that we try. To put it simply, confidence is not something that you have or you don't have. It's something that you generate. It's the result of the actions that you choose to take that either generates more confidence or reduces it. Take a look at this in your own life for a moment. Do your actions reflect that of someone who has goals based on their values? Do you have morning and evening routines that create space to actually progress towards your goals? Or do you hit the snooze button first thing in the morning, sleeping in as long as you can, and then immediately plugging into the outer world instead of really prioritizing the things that are important to you in your life before the urgent parts of your day? Now, please understand that I'm not trying to put anyone down here. And when I look back on this in my personal life, as to how much I actually did this, I've learned to bring in a lot of compassion for my former self, especially when it happens in the present moment, which is something that you can choose if this feeling actually comes up for you. So in all the easy ways that we can reduce confidence levels, we can also be doing things of the opposite nature to actually build it. It all comes down to starting with your daily actions, small steps that you can take on a daily basis to build it up. Think of your self-confidence as a self-bank account that you can either grow or shrink. When you set new goals for yourself and actually take action on them by inching forward, you're making deposits into that account. As the account grows, your confidence then expands. Your belief in what you're capable of doing grows, which also increases your belief and imagination to create larger goals for yourself. In contrast, if you keep making decisions that go off track from your goals, such as sleeping in, avoiding that skill that you set out to learn, and putting things off generally till tomorrow, then you're making withdrawals from your account, further plummeting your confidence levels. To put it another way, the more that we contradict our intentions and goals, the lower our confidence levels drop. Now, is this making any sense to you? If so, then let me know by hitting that like button. Now this next part towards building your confidence is absolutely imperative. I would have not been anywhere near where I am today if I wasn't actively doing this and continuing to be reminded of it by my current mentors and accountability partner. There is a very slim chance that you'll be able to build and maintain momentum towards your goals if you're not measuring and tracking. And this doesn't really even take much. It's just a few minutes at the end of your day to measure your wins, whether you got out of bed early, if you started work on that project, got that exercise session in, whatever it is, like anything that's in line with the new life that you're creating. This is the absolute key to fueling your confidence levels. And believe me, I know it's not the easiest thing to start. And having a support system is what really made it accelerate for me a few years back, which is a big reason why I created the Next Level Warriors Facebook group to help and support you on your journey of becoming your next level self. 
There you can find a growing community of warriors on different parts of their journey to hopefully help inspire you on your own. So make sure to check out the link in the description to the group at the end of the video. Now, aside from daily tracking, it is imperative to have a short weekly review session. This is where you write out the top wins for the week, usually on Sundays, and then again at the end of the month before planning out the next. Starting with a small step towards tracking your progress has been a complete game changer for me. And part of it is because your brain loves tangibility. Anything your brain can measure provides you with real evidence of what you have been achieving. Again, further boosting your confidence levels. This helps us to measure the real gains that we've been making, which I'll tell you straight up that if you aren't doing this, then it's far too easy to fall into the gap. The mentality that many of us have grown up with where it's easier to think and see how far we are away from our goals, the physique that we don't have, the money we aren't making, instead of what we're actually achieving on the way there. The real progress that we're making on the journey. Again, I'm sure you can see that one of these will actually build your confidence account while the other one reduces it, creates more anxiety, and even stresses you out. Setting yourself up with a foundation like this is 100% necessary for the transformation that you're gonna experience. And without measuring your progress, it's pretty easy to see why over 90% of people give up on their New Year's resolutions. But I'm not gonna be a bummer going down that topic because there is more to note on this journey to rebuild your confidence. You are absolutely capable of this. You don't need to overwhelm yourself with all that needs to change. It's absolutely normal for there to be ups and downs, which is why you need to review reflect, and measure your progress. Believe me, there will always be walls that come up. The self-image that you're changing will try to come through to take control back. And I can assure you that while this journey will be far from a linear line, you will definitely be heading in a better direction than before. As the evidence becomes clear of the progress you're making, this begins to influence the most foundational part of your deepest beliefs, your subconscious mind. This is seriously transformational work that is happening around the clock, behind the scenes, through the tiny actions that you take on a daily basis. And when it comes to doing any of this successfully, it helps to really understand the foundation of why your confidence may be low to begin with. There are a bunch of reasons for this that I haven't even gone over in this video, so you're going to want to check out the next one here to help you out on the journey to becoming your next level self. This video is going to help you to pinpoint the reasons that your confidence may be so low, so definitely check it out. Make sure to subscribe to the Growing Warrior community, drop your future video suggestions in the comments, and never stop growing, warriors.